Hi guys, uh, today we will be seeing how to upgrade our Loader Manager. So for this I have documented the steps. The first FP is to take the backups uh, which are associated with the Cloudera Manager. So as a whole we can take it by using all hyphen databases if you are using the mysql and if you want to take uh, one by one you can specify these commands then we will be checking the compatible version of java so it should be 1.7 default latest is 1.7 if you install cdh5 onwards and then we'll be st stopping the cloudera management service cloudera management server agent then we'll be creating the local repository with the required work versions we have to download the repo tar files and we have to edit the repo files over there to do that then we'll be following these below steps to upgrade so let's see now So I have been logged into the Cloudera Manager now. So the first step is I need to take the backup. I'll take the backup like this. So I'll check whether I'm able to log into the cloud I mean MySQL. Okay, can able to log in and. Uh, We'll do the show databases. These are the databases present in the MySQL. So I'll be taking the backup of all the databases. Enter the password. So your dump file will be generated here. Okay, this is the backup of all the databases present in the mysql if you want to restore it you can restore it using the same command if you want to read the contents just move that file as you can see the instance statements the drop tables all the statements will be generated for for all the databases okay the backup is done okay next we will verify the java version here what java version we have 1.8 sufficient and so I need to stop the cloud error manager service so I'll just log into my CM so if you see that the service has been already stopped okay and I'll go into the window and I will be checking the service load era SEM server status it's active you can stop this Okay, and I'll check for the agent. It's active. I'll stop. Okay, so both has been stopped now. And next, we have to create the repository which is required for upgrade. For that, I'll be going here. 
and my present version is if you go to the support about about it's not showing in it just log in again that has been stopped actually okay so that's why it is not able to do that okay uh, my present version is 5.11 okay and i will upgrade to 5.12 okay i'm going for 5.12 and i will be downloading the repo file okay Copy a link location, go to the Google Manager, PWD, WGAT, just download that. Okay, that has been downloaded. I'll just tar that. Just untar it. Okay, I'll go to the document root path. That is. CD var www html okay I'll make it directly called mkdar cm5.12.0 okay so to use sudo Okay, it has been done. Okay, if you see the my current version is 5.1. So we will go there and see. So this is the one we have what we have. Okay. Go back. For C D 5.12 cm.5.12 again nothing is there go to that path ok go to the cm this one we downloaded ok You move these all files to this location. It's not copy. Just a second. Better is switch it as sudo, then you can do this. Okay, we'll just check whether the file has been copied or not. It is in var www.html cm file dot 
okay once files has been copied okay so now we have to edit the repo file first so for that we'll go etc m dot repo just a second loaded on manager dot repo you see we have to change Okay, uh, we have to change uh, the base URL to five point twelve and here five point twelve. Okay, the all the other contents looks fine. Okay, and I'll get this file to cross check. Okay, and I'll take this URL, copy it, and I'll replace the IP address with. The external one and this should give the local repository URL. See, so this is the local repository URL. This looks fine. And what is the next step? Okay, just we have stopped all the we have created the local repository, edited the repo file done, then you clean the em repository sudo em clean all sudo em clean all space is missing okay so you can also do, execute this command okay sudo clear then go for yum repo list It should not be with the error at the moment because yeah Okay, that is complete. Okay, so now you have stopped the system server and all. Then we can execute this Cloud Data Manager Server Upgrade Demos and the Cloud Data Manager Agent. Okay, execute this.
so it is asking for yes see it is downloading 5.12.1 of agent demos and the server and the server db uh, if you are using embedded db you will be uh, doing one more update that is server db2 hit enter with y so it will updating all the demos here Now the demos are updating. It will take some amount of time. Okay, detailed documentation for that you can refer it here. If you see here. For uh, uh, if you are using embedded DB, you have to use server DB2. Okay, let's see. Still, it is updating. Updating the agent now. The server has been done. Okay, so this has been completed. And you have to start the service now. sudo service cloud error mm, scm server start started and the agent we should start okay so both the service has been started if config okay if you want to see the telnet now telnet 142 dot zero dot two seven one eight zero still it is connection error is coming and by the time we will log into the mysql and see the changes okay it is a password Okay, use your CM where the load data manager uh, metadata will be stored here. So show tables. Okay, select star from CM underscore version. Okay. Select star from CM underscore version. So if you see here, the version has been updated. Okay. Give exit. Okay. Again, we can try the telnet thing. Still it is not connected, it means that we will be not able to see the cloud data manager web UI. It runs on 7180. Okay, it's able to connect. And here also it should tell net. See, connected to one point.
ओके लॉग इन एडमिन एडमिन ओके नाउ इट विल अपग्रेड द अदर एजेंट्स इन द वर्कर नोड मास्टर नोड एज नोड सो फॉर दिस I use I you I I need to select the first option. Yes, I would like to upgrade the loader I package now and click on continue. Okay, it should match the loader. Okay. And accept this and use our loader user. continue see here the update will happen the only agent update so it will take some time if you want to watch what's happening in the background You can go here and see the um, steps it is executing. It will take some ample amount of time. I think we will refer some doc. What is the next step? I guess this is the last step. What we need to do. It's completed on CM node now and. This is on JDK. Agent package. Just taking some time, and we'll just pause the recording till it completes. Okay, all the things has been successfully installed. Continue in this step. It will inspect the host, all the etc. Cat files, all the required parameters are set on the OS level. All the things we'll be doing on this step. And I have some errors, so. Um, That is a thing. It is error, so I can continue with this error as it is a development box, and I'll just finish. So I'll continue. Continue. So here the cloud error management restart is happening. Okay, all has been completed successfully. Finish. And if you see your support and about, so you should be able to see the 5.12 version here. And if you want to start, sort of been started. And I can start this our cluster. 
cluster need not, need not to be stopped but as a development box I have stopped in production systems it will be keep on running and if you upgrade the cloud error management service nothing will be affecting the production cluster so starting the uh, zookeeper now Starting the HDFS, starting the yarn service. Okay, starting the hive. All the main component service has been started. Server two. If you want to see the log files, errors, or if you want to see the role logs, what's happening in time, you can go through the logs and starting the rules enough so we just started the final step is you Okay, now looks okay. Close this, and you can see the, all the services are up and running. And we should check why this you okay is also up and running now. So this is how uh, we will upgrade the cloud around manager uh, using the local repository to from 5.11 to 5.12. So if any doubts please make a comment i'll try to answer and please subscribe thank you